Kirobo Quark SRB fitted with Mia Microflight Woody Blades. It's a wood blades that uh, I produce for the uh, uh, Bumblebee. It just so happens that these blades are performing quite well on this uh, uh, SRB helicopter. And this is also the uh, Mia Microflight fiberglass tail rotor blade which was done also for the Bumblebee helicopter, the Mia Bumblebee. And because of the similar size it just works very well. In fact, uh, it's uh, it's a little more efficient if you uh, fly fast forward flight, if you fly circuits. These are the blades I would recommend. Uh, I've tried many other blades and they just don't work. They're either too heavy or they're fully symmetrical blades will not work here because this is not a collective pitch helicopter. This is the uh, Hirobo, the first Hirobo uh, sub-micro helicopter that they produce. Uh, we're going to give it a flight. Uh, later on I'm going to show how to do the installation of the blade. Okay, this is the SRB Quirk fitted with Mia Microflight Woody Blades and also it's got a fiberglass tail blade from Mia Microflight. Fiberglass tail blade is a very lightweight blade. You can see the performance here. These are options for the uh, soft foamy blades that the uh, SRB comes with. The foamy blades are just too fragile, unfortunately they break so easy. They perform very nice, but they're just so fragile. The woodies that I'm flying with here are the Mia Microflight uh, wood blades developed for the Mia Bumblebee. Basically, uh, the cork uh, being the same size as the bumblebee lends itself quite well to the uh, using the same parts that I use for the Mia yeah, Bumblebee submicro helicopter. They're both submicro, same size rotor diameter, basically the same weight. These blades are very nice if you do circuit flying. so you can see the little more deep in detail of uh, the flight characteristics with the particular blade. You do need to tweak the angle of the blade a little bit better. The stud blades have a camber and these are more flat bottom. So you may need to adjust the pitch on the blade grip just a little bit better so you can have the, uh, the lift. Follow the manual for the setting of the, uh, of the blade and just adjust to the woody. And it's a very nice flyer. This is one, one other helicopter that's my favorite. The four kits are the why is it my favorite? Well, because the uh, rotor head is, uh, has a specific design. It uses a bell hiller system in addition to a 45 degree flywire, which makes for the added stability that you get in covering and in control. It wants to uh, fly backwards a little bit. I think we need to adjust the battery. I'm using a slightly different battery than the stuck one. The stuck battery was, uh, was not fully charged so I just thought uh, I think that's a 500 milliamp hour battery to sell. There we go. Very nice flyer. It's a little windy today but uh, we're managing to get some very very nice uh, low cir flying circuits here. And just a quirk, such a nice little helicopter, it just helps you if you're learning on the learning curve. This is one of the helicopters that I would recommend you get if you can still get it. Uh, because it's just very forgiving and uh, very predictable. You can pretty much tell 
when you when you want to go to the right, the helicopter goes to the right. When you want to go to the left, it goes to the left. Whoa! I almost hit my my other helicopter, my prototype Mia helicopter. That's, that's my own helicopter on the bottom, but the larger one. We're gonna fly that next. But the Quark is such a beautiful helicopter, beautiful flyer. Amongst the uh, the other ones that I've mentioned in some of my other videos, such as the E-Flight uh, MSR. It's another nice little helicopter, but each one has its own personality and characteristics. And depending on your mood or particular day, maybe a nice day such as such it is today. Right now the weather's calm, where you can really enjoy these little guys. This is a brand new battery, so we're getting extended flight time. 500 milliamp hour battery and I think it's from uh, Eternity or uh, two cell 500 milliamp hour battery and you can see how smooth this flies with the woodies the good thing about the, the wood the wood blades is also that they're more durable you're not going to break them as easy as you do the that place so the foamy and they're very efficient for this particular type helicopter something that I made, made sure that I got that right when I designed the uh, bumblebee helicopter and so we're, we are transferring those features in the blade design and airfoil in particular to the fork here uh, it's getting a little choppy, the wind's picking up. That's why we're having a little trouble here with the control. You can see it in the trees, perhaps. You can see the trees moving. That's a sign that the wind's picking up. Oh, it's picking up quite quite a bit here. I'm going to have to uh, slow it down here, so bring it down. This is a MIA Microflight fiberglass uh, tail rotor blade. It's basically just a uh, just a blade as we supply in the, in the kit with two screws and what you need to do is save you need to save the the broken blades and save the plastic parts that you see here save these plastic parts because they will act as retainer for this blade you need you need this part here to use our blades here and basically these come already with the uh, perforations so that you can install the uh, Mia Microflight blade over the uh, plastic uh, our original stock holder with the two screws. It's a very simple setup. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that I'm not using the adapter here. You see, if, you, if we can capture this on the video, we are. I'm not using the the adapter which goes between the uh, the blade holder and the, uh, the, the the shaft, the tail rotor shaft. I just remove that completely and I just press fit this whole assembly onto the spline of the tail rotor shaft. And basically, that's all you need to do. That holds it pretty pretty secure. So once again, the blade comes with perforations and two miniature uh, screws. Use those two little screws to mount it over the existing plastic uh, support part for the stock uh, foamy blades. Do not throw these away. These are good parts that you can reuse. And basically that's how that's, that's done. Very simple. The blades, the main blades, are basically attached. They come as you see them here with the uh, heat shrink tubing. Uh, and you just need to pop those in place and uh, attach it with the uh, existing uh, mounting uh, screws.